and again I'm still working on small nicks and necks on this uh, 05 Boxster does something like that seems familiar to you and if yes you probably had either like a lazy um, seat belt or in my case uh, it was caused by missing pin like this one that holds the uh, this like wedge part uh, in kind of upper position so it always was dangling somewhere here so uh, when you close the door and this thing is jammed here and you you know pretty much slam the door that's what happens so the fix for this problem is very simple I purchased the this little kit from Amazon and I simply replaced this you know pin or whatever it's been called right here so this uh, ledge is always sits up there and it won't uh, gonna be catched by the door uh, today what I'm what I would like to attempt to do at least is to first of all to fix those two buttons that are that looks horrible and uh, in order to do that I purchased again the replacement buttons of Amazon I'm gonna put a link in the description and for example this that's gonna be the new replacement uh, button for that and for the fan as well in addition I would like to get behind or actually pull this like a lower part of this uh, center stack out because neither one of those buttons are working so the spoiler doesn't work and PSM cannot be turned off I guess this is the stability uh, control button for for Porsche and uh, in order to get there we're gonna need I guess one or two tools should be fairly simple let's let's get to it we're gonna need to remove this panel and in order to remove it we're gonna need to remove this little panel first same thing on the driver side in order to remove this one I'm gonna be using uh, it is T T30 Torx and there is like a hidden hidden screw in here and you, sometimes it's, it's hard to see but somewhere here I can feel it with a screwdriver be careful there is the outlet as well so they're gonna be the wiring on the other side which shouldn't bother us in this particular case if I'm not mistaken after I remove this panel it may expose a couple more screws one and two that's gonna be holding this panel and those are gonna be let me check no, that's not the one most likely it's gonna be T20 one and two if I'm not mistaken only two screws are are holding it and technically this panel should be pulled yep all right I'm gonna repeat the same procedure from the other side and we'll continue so both panels from both sides has been removed and now I think none of those items are being held by any screws but just by the clips this is the clip for the AC and this is the clip right here for this like lower lower panel and I think that I'm gonna need to put the transmission lever away from park Okay. 
this was un uneventful what about this panel okay there is at least it's connected okay so i took this lower panel to my office and this is how it looks like those are two buttons don't recall this one is yeah spoiler it's even written here and this one is PSM and uh, it possibly the traces um, could be corroded because of this you know massive uh, you know whatever fluid it is spill so I'm gonna clean it I'm gonna use the multimeter just to see if there is the continuity uh, between those you know buttons respective you know contacts and the pretty much the contact connector in the back and that's uh, it's gonna be slightly later but right now let's check the AC unit I found that those bolts one two three four at least uh, are T7 Torx, super tiny Torx. One, two, three, four. Okay, let's check. All right, that was pretty easy. And to make it a little more simple, simpler for us, let's remove the circuit board out from this, out from this and, and closing. It's gonna be slightly easier to work. And let's see if we need to and disassemble it any further or actually we already have the access to the buttons one two probably we're still gonna need to the assembly it again T7 I guess you know maybe it's even T6 let me change it to T6 yes it's T6 though T7 is one step bigger Yes, one more underneath the cable. Do 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 do. Okay, display portion looks like we don't have any kind of liquid or flood damage in here so let's check out those buttons hmm. looks like we have tiny tabs on the buttons themselves in each corner plus those two kind of bigger 
bigger tabs on each side in the middle. Okay, you see how it went towards this side, so I think now it needs to be pushed down and this is how you can remove it. Huh. Interesting concept. Let's try to install it. Looks like the installation should be direct reverse procedure. So the only difference I found actually uh, those two things just fall down, fell down. The difference I found those uh, replacement buttons doesn't have those tiny, tiny, you know, clips, which theoretically should make make the installation slightly easier. Okay, this was pretty easy. Okay, let's try to repeat the the process from this side. Okay, it popped right here. One, two, okay. Which side was easier? Okay. And that's it. All right, I'm gonna clean, you know, this mess around and I'm gonna put it back together. Also, I'm gonna use some compressed air to clean the, this little motor. It's been used for air conditioning system. So the system would know what the temperature is inside the cabin. Turpski. All right, let me clean it and put it back together. We need to reinstall this. Reinstall that. Okay, this part is gonna go back to this back cover and there are four prongs, electrical prongs, that are gonna go to this connector. Click and very carefully. I think it should, yep went just in place. Doo -doo -doo. Guys, let me know if, if I forgot something. I don't think I did. Oh 
one. Three. Four. All right. Almost as new. Or maybe even better. Buttons are not sticky anymore. Okay, that works. Now I'm gonna need the microscope, so I probably uh, I won't be able to show you the repair process in case any repair is gonna take place in regards to this smaller board. Yeah, that's somewhat sad condition it, it may be just looking bad but it could be absolutely you know normally working I don't know you know wow It looks, yeah, that's the corrosion actually went under the clear coat and it's affecting the actual contact. So I'm gonna need to put some jumper wires in here. And hopefully after that, we're gonna see the spoiler going up and down. Wow, it's so filthy. Going up and down by pressing the button. Okay, we have the problem right here, the PSM button. It doesn't make the contact with this resistor looks like. Okay, this side goes to the connector. And this side is not going to the connector. We're gonna need to put a jumper. Okay, and let's check the the other the spoiler side let's see if anything okay this goes to the connector what about the other side it doesn't where it's supposed to go it's supposed to go here And it's also not going, it's it's not reaching this point. Alright, we, we got a couple of winners here. Okay, now I'm really gonna need the microscope. And uh, alright, I made few jumper wires because some of those pass through uh, things that leads the contacts from one side of the board to another were pretty much corroded and there was no contact. So right now looks like we're gonna have back the PSM button and also spoiler button. Let's, okay, not let's. I'm gonna clean again those things first and then we're gonna assemble it back and then we're gonna test it. Uh, let's try to put back everything together. I got only 15% left on my GoPro. I'll try to do it really quick. Ignition. Neutral. Let's see if I can do it one-handed. Probably... Yes, no? Where is it? Hey! Ah! Come on. All right. Not sure if anything happened in regards to the spoiler. Let's check it out. 
Okay, no spoiler. Ah, there is but uh, there is a uh, light now, <laughs> and <laughs> there is a spoiler. <laughs> so at least a spoiler is fixed. How to remove? Do I need to hold it? Okay. Okay, PSM also. PSM off. PSM on. Okay, this part is fixed. Goes back. And now, okay, let's to fish out the wiring for climate control. Guys, uh, bear with me. Two, two. Uh, actually, where to? Let's see if... Okay, this works. I can see it changes. Temperature is changing as well. Okay. We fixed everything what I wanted to fix today, which were those two buttons, this button and that button. Everything works, at least in this area. And I'll see you guys later once we're gonna do some other stuff for example like replacing of the gasket for the transmission uh, pen which is leaking badly i think thank you guys for staying tuned <clears throat> again um, hopefully it was somewhat entertaining for you if yes please hit that like button it's gonna help youtube algorithm to know that i've been doing a good job and if i've been doing a good job youtube probably gonna suggest my videos to some other potential viewers thank you so much for watching i'll see you in the next video take care guys